Today, me and my helper are going to show you how to hook up a camper to a truck. So, to get started, make sure all of your bracings are up. Because you don't want to go down the road with them down. It'll tear them up. So we're going to start by doing that. And make sure all obstacles are out of the way. Push in our ball hitch. And get the pin in. Good job, and don't forget to put the other side of the pin. All right, good job. Time for us to back into the trailer. So it looks like we need to raise the camper just a tad. Up. Let's go up. Right here. Right here. Right here. Where it says extend. Okay, and once it gets high enough, okay, then we're going to stop it. Good job. And then my helper's going to back me into it. He did a good job. So now, make sure that this is pulled back. Now we're going to lower it. Okay, we got it lowered. I'm going to pull forward just a smidgen. Okay, right there. Before we put the pin in, we have to make sure we hook up the electric because the electric is going to go through the pin. A lot of these pins are made where it has a, a high top to it. That's so your line can go through it and then hook up. That way you're not getting it into the mechanism. Let's go ahead and hook up our safety chains. This is a brake line. So let's, let's run that brake line through there. Go ahead and run it through here, and then go ahead and hook it up to there, and let's do the same thing on the other side. My setup is the easy hitch. It's very simple. It's important to squirt a little WD-40 in these ports here too as you're putting them on and on this particular model there's a pinhole right here you can actually squirt your WD-40 into it they put that there so you can put some lubrication in it make sure your electric line is on the outside stick it in the bottom raise up this pin and it's in Let's do it on the other side. Stick it in the bottom, raise up the pin, put the pin down, and it's in. Okay, a little trick I like to do, I like to take a little squirt of WD-40 and put it right here, just a little. You'll hear people that don't, 
WD-40 it, they will be squeaking. It'll catch everybody's attention. And make sure you do the other side too. Okay, and if you'll notice, this just isn't going to... So, all you got to do, extend it up. That's why I didn't take that all the way up when I first did it. Just raise... Until it goes, and then put your pin in, covering the bar, the sway bar, and put your pin in. And do the other side. Okay, now we're ready to lower or retract the jack. This time we're going to take it all the way up. Before you go on your trip, after you get all hooked up, it's always wise to do a walk around to make sure Everything is out of the way, including dogs. Yeah, our dog named Cassie. Our dog's name is Cassie. Yeah. Oh, see, we're hooked to electric. Yeah. So we'll have to take that off before we roll. Yeah. I'm not going to do that right now because we are not rolling at the moment, and I have the refrigerator going. Nothing in the back. Okay, and this is a problem that I've seen a lot of people do, including myself. The steps and the handrail. I usually always remember the steps. Yes. But I tend to forget the handrail. Do not forget the handrail. Even all of our dogs is under the camp for today. That's right. So we can't roll with the dogs under the camper. Yeah. So we have to. We Looks have like to... all three of our dogs are under the camper. Yeah. We have three beautiful collies. Yeah. It's hot today, and they want to find a cool spot. Yeah. Simon, Quinn, and Cassie 